is a breakdown of rhythm riffing on Sweet Georgia Brown. Uh, this is for you, Josh. So let's play the video and I'll break down each phrase at a time. Okay, so that's the intro and we're going like this. So first the chords, we're using G7 up here with the D in the bass. Right, there's the G7 with the D in the bass, there's G. So obviously we're using D in the bass like we would do when we're playing rhythm guitar so you don't have to pick out that G so you can just hit hit all the strings and it's right so then we're going to go chromatically down like the last phrase in Sweet Georgia Brown you know chromatically down all right so we're going G7 F sharp 7 F7 E7 D sharp seven, so we're not actually doing the two five one at the end. We're not actually going A minor seven, D seven G. We're going just chromatically the every step chromatically down. Okay, so it makes it easier, and it still works harmonically. So then to the G, right? So it's G seven, F sharp seven, F seven. Seven, D sharp seven, D seven, G. Obviously, the rhythmic rhythmical element is of this whole piece is is what rules this whole thing, right? So we're kind of going. So if you get this kind of action down with your right hand. So that's the intro, end with a harmonics on the 5th fret, which is G major, right? 5th fret harmonics, and then we go into this, let's listen from the beginning. Okay, so that's on the E7 of Sweet Georgia Brown, we're using this voicing up here, right? E7 or E9, so... 11th fret, right? So 11, 12, 11, 12. And what we're doing, we're going that last chord brings the E on the top string. All right, so then that's that chord, but with the with that note also the top E. So it's like That's what I'm playing over E7, right? So right, so that's kind of a funky little phrase that you can use on all the dominant sevens. Right? So when you're playing Sweet Georgia Brown, really good to know that you can go E7. Right? A7. D7. To your G. So the, the little rhythm riff was. Right, and then we're going to move to the A7. Let's see what happens from the top. Okay, so for the A7, I used a quote of Limehouse Blues but use that same chord, right? The, the dominant seventh chord with the third in the bass on A7. So the chord on the fourth fret there, which is A7. And instead of doing the same as the E7, I just did the Limehouse Blues where you can just raise the whole chord. You got the 
melody in our top. Right, so that's what I did for the A7. So recap. A7. Five mouse blues. And I think for the D7 I did the same. So I did again like the E7. Right, so the same as the E7, I use that same riff, right? Now we hit the G. And then I just use a diminished octave right from the G, it's G major, but I just go. So that's just diminished up every three frets, a minor third, right? And that kind of works because it gives it a nice bit of tension on the G major. So that's what's happening on the G major. And then we're going to go back to E7 here. So let's listen. Same. Same. Okay, so that when we hit the, we're going to hit the last bit of Sweet Georgia Brown, which is E minor 7, B7. And I just go, just do a blues bend. To this chord. So this chord is E minor, so E, then on a D string, the, the G, fifth fret. So it's basically barred on the fifth fret. Right, see that chord? G, D, E, B. Sorry strings on here right and then I've got that kind of here and that this this idea which is a really nice enclosure diminished enclosure around E minor so right and I just go something like that going to be the outro the same as the intro right so I do the same thing except I'll finish with which is the D here on the bottom E string 10th fret right setting it up for the cadence D G and we're just going to go D D7, C and F sharp, right? Two notes, C, F sharp, and then G major, right? So that little cadence is the same as D, G, right? So it's just a bit of fun at the end. The whole thing about this piece is obviously it's very rhythmical it is rhythm riffing so once you've got the chords down do that first okay just make sure you've got the right chords and then you want to try and get rhythm and it's all about the right hand giving it the play it and slow And 
if that's too fast, just just practice the rhythmical thing on one chord. So for example, this riff. <laughs> So really practice going. It's like that shuffle rhythm. And one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and four. should help Josh and anybody else who would like to do this. It's a really fun little piece to do. Um, so let me know how you go. If you need any more help, I'm here, obviously, always here for club members. So that's Rhythm Riffin on Sweet Georgia Brown, Broken Down. See you soon. Have fun. Keep it swinging.